Hello and welcome into the first introduction video of the Ansible Fundamental for Network Engineer video course. This video course is provided to you by ohanergon.net. So let's do a quick introduction on myself and onto the course topics. So my name is Omar Adel. I will be with you into this course of Ansible and on the next courses of Ansible. I have worked in an ISP company, data center, banking, my favorite, of course, the development, the DevOps. I'm now working as an IP security engineer in a telecommunication. Regarding the training and instructing experience, I have more than four years in a class, class-led rail, uh, rail instructing. And of course, experience with pre-recorded video courses. About the certification and the skill that I have, you may see it in the screen regarding the Cisco, CCNA, CCMP, Microsoft, MCSA, uh, design, automation, security with big names such as Palo Alto, Fortinet, NSE4, NSE7. Of course, I have skills with VMware, vSphere product such as the ESXi, the vCenter, etc., etc. With Linux, my favorite is the Red Hat mainstream. And of course, with the loved one to the network engineer Ubuntu. I'm a big fan and a big network automation guy using the clean code of Python. And of course, the best network automation tool or the best automation tool, which is Ansible. And that's what we will have into this course. Let's take a quick look about the course topics, the course syllabus that we will handle. We will start with answering a very important question. What is Ansible? After we know what is Ansible, we must answer why should we use Ansible? There are multiple automation tools. Why should we use Ansible? This is the most important question also. Last and not least regarding the concept part, which is Ansible use cases. When and where can we use Ansible? After we finish the big overview of Ansible, all the theoretical part about Ansible, we will start with the practical part, the hands-on lab. The first thing that we will learn regarding Ansible fundamental course is how to set up the lab. So lab setup is a very big topic that we will handle on to this video course, how we will set up our local lab, how should we install the virtual machine, what are the prerequisites of the Ansible. And after that, finally, we will install Ansible. After we, after we prepare our virtual environment, our lab, we will start to configure and make the Ansible engine up and running. This is the most important thing is how to make Ansible up and running, the Ansible engine. So we will have to configure two main components of Ansible. The first is Ansible inventory and Ansible config. Both of those are configs file. Both of those are files regarding Ansible engine that will make Ansible engine works. Last and not least, we will have some codes. This is an Ansible fundamental course, so we must have uh, some kind of a code. It's not that big kind of a code. Maybe it's 10 lines, 20 line of code. So we will, uh, so we will write our first Ansible playbook doing some basic and normal automation things for us. The last slide in this video is what are the prerequisite that you must have before you start this video course? Of course, you are now here. You, you want to learn what is Ansible. You are now a network engineer because the titles, because of the course title, Ansible Fundamental for Network Engineer. So the big aim is for network engineer. So what are the prerequisites that are you required to have before you come and start this video course? Of course, you must have a good knowledge regarding network. For example, you must have a CCNA, a CCMP knowledge. I mean knowledge. You know what's an IP, you know what's a protocol, what's a VLAN, uh, how you configure SSH, how you do routing. Um, those all kind of basic network knowledge will help you a lot to do the network automation. After that, you will 
uh, you must know what are the network automation overview and i highly encourage you to go into the ccmp enterprise automation part or even any automation part regarding cisco topics because we will automate cisco product in the first time you must know what are the component of the network process just the theoretical part why should we use automation what is automation maybe what is sdn what is python what is the automation tool what what is agent what is agentless tool all this all this non-practical approaches non-practical information you must have before you come to this course so this course is mostly like to go into the practical side so you must know the theoretical before you come here the second thing that i need you to do and i always encourage anyone to start uh, anyone who wants to start with automation to begin with is python my favorite programming language which is python you will see that python is 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 everywhere regarding network automation regarding system automation anything even the tools that we will use ansible is a network automation tool but it is built with python so python will give you a great a view of what is a variable what is a loop what is the if statement the condition statement so all of those basic knowledge you are required to have with python maybe just a slightly knowledge i don't require you to write um, maybe a thousand line of python code to come here no just a basic knowledge of python before you come to ansible last and not least you are required to do a lab so regarding doing a lab you will need a virtualization a virtualization experience to create a virtual lab in my case i like vmware vmware provide uh, so much solutions such as the vmware workstation workstation pro or even the sxi those are hypervisors type 1 type 2 that can help you a lot doing your virtual lab you may use multiple approaches maybe you have real case scenarios maybe you have real equipment but i highly encourage you to do a virtual lab so you will need some kind of virtualization of virtualization understanding before you go into creating the lab so what is a vm what is a virtual machine what's a hypervisor what is a virtual network how can you how can you create multiple instances of the same node inside your computer so this is for the virtualization last and not least i highly recommend that you install ansible on a linux virtual machine please don't do it on windows in any way like container docker whatever they provide don't do it install it on linux because you know ansible is owned by a linux company and it was developed using linux so always use linux not windows windows is just for managing your your environment and that's it and that's what we will take in, in this course so um, you are required to have a very small linux administration uh, techniques knowledge so how can you boot up linux how can you install it how how can you drive into the directories create file delete file install a package do a ping trace change the ip that's it all the normal all the, all the normal basic knowledge of Linux that you could have in two hours video course in YouTube on, or in any place would, would help you a lot. So that's all for the introduction part. See you in the next video.